Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to the 4 Mart Ranch YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be looking at another piece of gear by Sig Sauer, and that is their SRD762 line of suppressors, but more importantly, the micro brake associated with their line of QD suppressors. All right guys, so I also wanna show you how simple it is to install the SRD762 suppressor and why I think the mounting system is actually pretty handy and pretty intuitive. So I'm gonna be demonstrating on my Remington 700, which has a 5 8 by 24 um, thread. It's the AAC SD, so you just remove your thread protector, obviously. And then if you buy your mount aftermarket, this is what the packaging will look like. So obviously, I'm sure there's people out there that are going to be using more than just the included mount. If you want to switch it from gun to gun, like I intend to, this is what to be on the lookout for. So we'll go ahead and just open it up and I'll show you what comes inside. So you obviously get the brake itself. So this is the micro brake, but what's really cool about these mounts is that right here where my fingers are contacting is actually where the suppressor will touch. So this center piece right here in no way holds onto or supports the silencer in any means. So technically you could put this onto the gun and it would be completely fine. So what I'm gonna do is just put a little dot of Loctite onto the threads just so I never have to worry about this backing out. Now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this on my rifle. And I'm gonna take my 7 8 inch wrench and we're just gonna give it a nice turn. We're gonna make sure it's seated on there nice and tight to where we don't have to worry about it coming off the threads. Now, what's really cool is that this did not have to be timed whatsoever. It is just on the gun, you tighten it once it's, uh, the threads are against the shoulder here, it's good to go. Technically, we can use the silencer with just this and it'll work just fine. However, what does need to be timed is the micro brake or the flash hider itself. So whatever you know device that you chose to go with, that's the only thing you really have to worry about timing. It's not going to affect the um, concentricity with the barrel to the silencer itself, which is really important so you don't screw up and have a baffle strike. So that was really clever on Sig Sauer to do it this way. So now I'm just going to insert that crush washer inside of the muzzle device. And I again, I'm just gonna put a little drop of the Loctite onto the threads, like so. And now I'm just going to get it started so now we're contacting that crush washer. So we're contacting it just a little bit and now I'm just going to give it essentially just a quarter turn. And of course make sure this is nice and level the way I want it. But that's it. The mount is now on. And as you can see, the silencer will just go up and over. You give it a couple turns and then you'll hear it click. All right guys, so that was a really quick overview on how to install the Sig Sauer SRD762 silencer. I know that was uh, pretty short and sweet, but hey, that's the way Sig Sauer made it. Very simple. Again, I like how it keeps you from screwing up. I, this is the fourth one I've mounted. On the previous three, I've had zero issues whatsoever. Um, obviously, no baffle strikes yet, and I hope that'll never happen, but just letting you know that it does work pretty well. I touched on this briefly in a video a long time ago on my channel, but that was well before I had received the silencer, so now I just wanted to give you a look with me having the silencer in hand finally. So as always, thanks for stopping by the 4 Ranch YouTube channel, and have a good one guys.